Hello everybody watching and I wish you very welcome back to Top Drives. If you are new to my channel I want to wish you very welcome and I hope you enjoy your stay. I've been seeing that recently we've got a lot of new traction so if you are watching this and you're new to the channel say hi in the comments and make sure that I know that you are new uh, and I will probably respond to you. So yeah we're starting off today's video with a ceramic pack. Let's see what we can get out of it. We have the MG Medro Turbo to start us off. We have the Renault Scenic, the Ford Escort RS Turbo. Alright, we have the BMW 330i, interesting. And the Volkswagen Golf GTI, which is probably going to be fused material, honestly. But that's a very alright BMW if it is a diesel, I don't know. Alright guys, so I'm opening the last premium two-seaters pack. I hope I can get something good. We will find out here. We have the Volkswagen Touran. We have the Renault Twingo. The Peugeot 405. We have the Jaguar XKSS, which is not very good, let's be honest. It's probably gonna be fused material. And... The K2 Ham 7, I already have one, I don't know if I need two, I think this is also going to be fused material, but nice to see an ultra rare in my ceramic pack at least. Alright pack that one. Alright guys, so the daily event has indeed finished, and I do believe we did alright. Um, let's see, yes, rank 16, which means an aluminum pack. Uh, let's see what we can get, we have easy drink Visa. A Renault Sport Twingo, a Chevy Volt, the Kuga, and the Jaguar XKSS. So actually that was like a ceramic pack. Very nice. Alright guys, so currently there is a Ford Premium Special Pack for 249 gold. And I think you can actually justify me buying this. Because 249 gold is not a, is not a bad price whatsoever. It's really really good in fact. We have a Vauxhall Tigra here, we have the Mitsubishi Colt, we have a Buick Park Avenue, the Nissan Pathfinder and finally the Ford Ranger Wild Track. So unfortunately we got absolute trash here but still 249 gold is not a huge price to pay. Alright guys so a bunch of events have finished so I thought I would show you them. We have Drive of Your Life, minus 10 here, I didn't do very well. My Peugeot squad was lacking, to say the very least. Um, I had 3 maxed out uncommons, uh, I mean, yeah uncommons, that's what I mean. So nothing special on that front, but at least we get 7500 here. And then we have the daily event, we did slightly better here I think, maybe, yes. So we get the steel pack here at least. Um, let's see what we can get from that one. Voxel Astra, the Fiat 500, Renault Escape, Severa Leone and the Voxel Astra. So we actually got a rare from that uh, steel pack. And then we have the Pikes Peak prelims. I did horribly. I did not have a good enough <laughs> deck for this. So there we go. I didn't have good enough diesel cars. I just had really bad ones. So the BMW and the Touring, I already have both of those cars, I don't know if I should keep more of them. Oh well, there we go. Alright guys, so I'm going to be opening a French carbon fiber pack. Let's hope we can get something good this time around. Hopefully we will get a Bugatti. <laughs> Renault Space. We have a Mercedes-Benz CLK. We have the Chevrolet Code 130R, really good car, already have two, I don't know if I should keep a third one, I don't think so. Okay, Renault R20, nothing special, already have one and that's all I need. And official 205, wow. Yeah, so I'm gonna open the ceramic pack as well.
What a surprise! Alright guys, so I'm gonna be opening two more ceramic packs, hopefully getting something good, but most likely not. Christ Return Country, Volksburg and Gold, a DS4, the Renault 5 Turbo, and a Volkswagen Polo, of course. When you get one super rare, you can't get something better afterwards, because that would be silly, right? Mercedes Benz, a Ford Ranger, BMW, Ford Galaxy, yeah, come on. Alright, I'm buying one last ceramic pack, this is my last hope. Let's hope we can get something good out of it. Cavalier, the Pulsar, the Impala, the Space, and the Ignis. Wow, okay, I'm opening for gold, I don't care. Let's open one for gold, and let's see if there is any difference. We have an Eco Sport, a Cruise, a Plymouth, we have the Honda CRV and the BMW X6. Now this is actually pretty decent. Look at that. 6.572 four wheel drive all surface. Yeah. Okay, this one is okay. Uh, definitely not worth opening five ceramic packs for, but that's okay. Okay, so I've quite foolishly probably decided to open another ceramic pack. I've opened so many now, but I did get that ultra rare and at the end of the day I can't expect much more uh, but let's see okay we have the crossfire and the Mustang when you get one super rare it feels like you almost always get another and nothing better interesting all right guys so I think you can see what it's time for it's time for two more ceramic packs I'm just digging into the ceramics packs. I don't know really what I'm expecting. I mean, the odds are to get something shit from this. So I, I don't really know why I keep trying because, well, odds are I'm gonna get screwed over, you know? Uh, so it's really not that good to open these, but I still do it. The Alpha Sud. We have the Elise, which is actually very good. I already have one, but I will keep this one as well. It's such a good car in the rare quality that you can actually justify keeping two of them. And it's the Infinity XQ30. Now this one is alright, I think. Um, and since the mo more many of the important rides that were 22 RQ have now gotten up to 23 RQ uh, subvice, I'm going to keep this one. It's also a Japanese ride. This one might come in very handy at times, so yeah, this one is a keeper. I enjoy that one. Okay, next pack. We have the Renault Captur, the BMW 728i, we have the Peugeot Rally, the Suzuki Ignis Sport, and the Dodge Daytona, so nothing special. So I would say at the end of the day, this was not worth 65,000 cash. Alright guys, so the daily event has indeed finished and let's see how we did. We didn't do very well here. Um, I'm sorry for all the salt in this video. I'm probably gonna name this video like a uh, so salty video or something. Because damn, it has been a lot of salt in this video. But you have to understand, it just, it just didn't go very well, did it? I know I shouldn't complain, I mean, I'm in a position where I have a lot of subscribers, I get money from, well not money, I get in-game currency from Hutch, so really there is, should be no room for me to complain, but I still complain, and I think some of you guys kind of like it when I, when I complain as well, although I know a lot of you guys don't like it when I complain, uh, so comment down below in the description if you think it's okay that I complain, or if you would rather I would try to keep a more positive attitude because I'm genuinely very interested in what you guys think is the optimum way of doing my videos because of course I'm doing my videos not only for me but also for you you know so yeah uh, yeah all right guys so my daily reward right now is a rover aluminum now I don't know if I can get anything good out of this but let's see we have a Volkswagen Golf a Renault Sport Twingo, a Subaru Justy, we have a Rover SD1, and another one. I don't know if this is a good car though. 
but uh, definitely 2000 cash if I sell those, so that's nice. And it's only 3 days left until I get the Ford Ceramic Pack and I'm really looking forward to that one. Nice. Alright guys, that was all I had for you in today's video. If you did enjoy this video, consider leaving it a like, it helps me out a lot. Also, if you are watching my videos and you are not already subscribed, just press that subscribe button and you will get videos sent to your subscription feed directly. And as always, my Instagram will be down below in the description where I post top price related things like unexpected wins, unexpected losses, and my thoughts about the game and such as that. And if you also want to connect to me, maybe ask me something uh, or tell me something that you don't find appropriate for the YouTube comments, you can always contact me on Instagram if there's anything you're wondering about. And as I have said guys, at 750 subscribers I will do an in-depth garage tour of my garage and show you everything that it holds. So yeah, that was all I had for this video, uh, until next time, goodbye.